Check this out. I want to learn how to do that. So let's figure this shit out. So it looks like he's just going ring finger, thumb, thumb, ring. Hey, I feel like I'm not that far off. Is that it? <laughs> Play anything with it. It's sloppy as hell. Oh, there we go, a little bit smaller. I'm missing the up with my thumb. I need to foc I need to get up with my thumb. That one. Let's try let's try um with a chord progression. Something something easy. Like maybe like a try two five one, so it would be like a like that, right? Like a It's so sloppy. It's so, so sloppy. Maybe, maybe... Yeah, hold on. Alright, so that wasn't that hard to get scuffed. <laughs> it's so terribly out of time, but... Uh, well, no, okay, here's the thing, is that it's in time, right? There's still a clear, like, dick 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 Or there's a clear downbeat. A clear, like, one, two, three, four. But the subdivision, the notes in between the quarter notes, or the downbeats, are not evenly spaced. Right? And so the subdivision's off. And so what I need to work on is being able to go a consistent distance between every single one of those notes in between the big notes. Clean subdivision, so one E and And if it's anything other than that, it's not great. <laughs> of course there's feel and triplet swing and whatever, but that's not what we're going for right now. I'm feeling it as 16 notes, but realistically this might actually be felt as 30 second notes. Um, or maybe it's not fellas either, maybe it's just a roll, like a buzz roll. But even in a buzz roll in drumming, you still are doing 16th notes with your hands. So you're still feeling 16th, you're still playing 16th notes just with a buzz on each note. Anyways, it should be 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and So what I'm trying to say is I need to go 1 E and a 2 E and a. See how even that is? That's what I need to get. Because I can just go like... But it's like... You know, it's like... It's lopsided. It's like trying to throw... An, like trying to roll an egg down a bowling alley. It's just fucking... Shit, dude. Shit, dude. Shit, dude. Man, that is difficult. Cause like anybody can go up and just start like fucking. No, that's not the same, is it? Whoa, that's wait. Even though I'm not doing it great, that's so much better than just going. Uh, okay, I think this will be easier to demonstrate with drums because this this technique. What's it called? A uh, so I don't know anyways so this technique seems like it's very similar to what drummers call a double stroke roll which is basically this is a stroke that's a stroke right one stroke per hand but you can also have a double stroke which is two strokes per hand like this and what happens is it doubles the amount of strokes per hand that you get hence double stroke roll right same thing on the guitar, is you're just doing it with one hand. Your middle finger is the right hand and your thumb is the left hand, right? Start off slow and then speed up and then maintain it and then slow down. Or realistically, you want to be able to maintain it at any tempo. That's how you know you got true mastery over it. But on the guitar, I should be trying to mimic this.
And see how even that is? That's what I gotta do on the drums. Sorry, on the guitar, not the drums, on the guitar. And so back to here, I should just do the same thing. It's the same idea, just uh, a fresh technique, so it's hard. But right, right, left, left. Oh, I was wrong. The middle finger acts as... No, 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 it's okay. The down strokes are the right hits. The up strokes are the left hits. So it's like right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. See, I lose it. See, because it's not the same to just be able to go like... You know? That'd be the same as going like this. You see that? It's not the same. It's not the same. You gotta be able to have control. At whatever tempo you wish to go at. If I can play it slow, like this, then I can play it slow and gradually increase the tempo to get up to tempo. The technique changes just a little bit. Like, this is different than that. Not by much, and you need to learn this and then refine it smaller and smaller and smaller and eventually you'll get that here. Let me demonstrate on the drums again. When, when learning the double stroke roll, oftentimes you have to learn how to do this. So the movement's exaggerated. But with time and as you speed up, these movements get a bit smaller and it's called a refinement. So it's the same, the, whoa, uh, the, the technique's slightly different, but it stems from that original exaggeration. You need to know the exaggeration. As you refine it, you kind of slide into a different technique. Like if you just watch my wrists on the big ones, and then as I speed up, watch how my wrist changes. See that? I went from that to this, from that to this. The same thing is gonna happen on the guitar where we may start off with right an exaggerated motion then as you get fa as we get faster the motion is gonna get smaller right more refined and that's gonna end up with something more similar to this but hopefully with all of the hits on the guitar, because <laughs> I consistently miss this upstroke with my thumb. But the, the motion changes, because like right here, I'm like moving my fingers with it, right? But when I go faster, it's just a wrist. But if you try to do that slow... Oh wait, that actually works. Holy shit, whoa. Okay. I'm trying to lock my fingers. I don't want to move my fingers. I, just want, I want to keep them locked in whatever distance is needed in order for a smooth subdivision. Because like if I have my fingers closer together, right? It goes da 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 So I can't do that slowly. But if I widen the space between my fingers, now it's da da instead of da da. But as I get faster, maybe close that distance, maybe. I'm just trying to play light, trying to play soft. Just give, just, just let the technique work. Okay, I need a break. I think right now I've got as much of the idea of the technique down as I'm going to with only watching one video. Actually, it might be a good idea to go back and watch more videos about it and even find out the name of it. I don't even know the name of it. But uh, I think for now, I'm just going to practice and practice and practice and practice.
thumb and the middle finger on the right hand. This is the hand position you want. It's like you have a relaxed hand, but then you just do this. Bring the middle finger in. Now lead your hand in this position, and we're just going to rotate our forearm like we're opening a door. Don't actually move your finger. Don't down. move the fingers. Position. We go down with middle, down with thumb, up with thumb, up with middle, down, down, up, up. He's doing the thing. Look at that. I already thought that that's what I was doing, but he made it look so much better. That's exactly what I was talking about with the drum pad. So, pitch. Yeah, 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 that was better. You hear that? Okay. That's better, that's better, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna practice that a bunch. Twist. Whoa! Roger it up, get ready. <laughs> that, unironically, is actually better than what I was doing. Not bad at all. <laughs> Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, 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 mm, mm, mm. Yeah, okay, I think that's it for this one. That was fun. That was easy. Comment down below if you have another technique that you want me to learn. Uh, I don't even know what this is called. <laughs> I should learn that. Before I leave, let me figure out what this is called. Repico. <laughs> Repico. No, I, I thought it was Italian. It means retaliation. Repico. It's the same. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, look, right here, right here, okay. The AI's got me. Multiple matches for repico in Italian, including a strumming technique in a concert group. Strumming technique used on the Baroque guitar. I thought this was flamenco, but not Baroque. Technique originated from the Spanish and Italian Baroque guitar tradition. All right, well, uh, there we go. Uh, it's Baroque guitar technique repico. Very cool. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.